Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of classifying 2D shapes. This is standard 4.6D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 5 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we've got Ruth, and she's sorting these three polygons, and they all belong to the same group. Let's go ahead and take a moment to name these polygons real quick, and then we'll take a look at our angles and our parallel and perpendicular lines. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so eight-sided shape, we learned that. Even in kindergarten, that's an octagon. Looks like a regular octagon. One, one, two, three, four, five. This looks like a regular pentagon. That's a five-sided shape. So I'm guessing that's going to be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So that's a hexagon. I always think of that X in hexagon and the X in six. Remind me that it is a six-sided shape. So octagon, pentagon, hexagon, we are looking for perpendicular lines, parallel lines, acute or obtuse angles. All right. So perpendicular lines are lines that form a specific angle. Perpendicular lines form, I'm going to call that a 90 degree, but we can also call that a right angle. Both are correct. It looks just like this. This is actually the symbol for perpendicular lines when you get into geometry. And you see it's got a little square corner right there. So that's actually sometimes we will call it a square corner because think of the corner of a square. We can easily turn this into a square. So that's perpendicular lines. So I don't think I see any perpendicular lines. Like you could draw a little a little line. That would have been a perpendicular line, but that angle's a little bit larger than that. That would have been a perpendicular line. Angle's a little larger than that. And that is a perpendicular line. And that would have that's too large. So I don't see any perpendicular lines. So parallel. All right, so we've got our perpendicular, we've got our parallel. They uh, never touch. They're parallel lines, and they are the same distance. So the symbol for parallel is actually this right here. If you were to draw that in geometry, that's what you would see. I always think of the two L's in parallel. The two lowercase L's actually are parallel. They never touch. So like if we take a look at our hexagon, that line is parallel with that line. Same distance apart if you extend them forever, they never touch. This line four with this line one, also parallel. Line six and line three, so parallel. Yes, good for the hexagon. Uh, we don't have any parallel here for our pentagon. They all would intersect. They're not exactly like if I were to do this line one, and this line three, see how they'd eventually touch? Now, on my octagon, we're looking good. Those are parallel. Four and eight are parallel. Two and six are parallel. Three and seven are parallel. But it doesn't quite work because the pentagon does not have parallel lines. Um, B, no perpendicular lines. So now we're just looking at angles. All right, so acute, pretty simple it is going to be less than my 90 degrees. So think of little tiny angles like this. Whereas my obtuse is gonna be greater than my right angle. So think of like big angles like this. Well, that's obtuse, that's bigger than that 90, right? That's my 90, that's bigger. You know, it looks like my hexagon is all obtuse. It looks like my pentagon is also all obtuse. And there's no acute in octagon. So that's what it is. It's all obtuse angles, D.